What's up everybody, Thrall's Miller here once again. I'm the Croc Neck. I'm Jam and John. And we have an album review for you. So we decided to dive deep into the underground and find something exceptionally filthy and evil sounding to review. And man, did we fucking find it. Yes. So we are going to go over the latest EP from Diabolic Oath, which it is called... Oh, <laughs> God. Aeskrolatria. Maybe? Maybe. I don't know. That word is the product of awkward letter sex uh, in the <laughs> alphabet. I, I don't even know what that means. It sounds absurdly evil and kind of like a disease at the same time. So, I mean, that's pretty fucking fitting. Anyway, this also comes out on the 2nd of September on Sentient Ruin Laboratories. This band formed in 2017 in Portland, Oregon, where there is clearly no death metal going on at any time. Yeah, nobody in Portland Just plays death metal. Just yeah, a barren wasteland. barren wasteland of nothingness. Nothing it's, heavy comes yeah, out of there ever. ever. It's ridiculous. Yep, I've never heard Get of it. Get it to fucking gather Portland. Yeah, really. No shit, you guys. Come on. This is this band's first EP. They have one other full length and two demos. And... What I know about this band is very minimal. Uh, I know that they're ex-members of Blood Freak, which I do love that band because they are just disgusting, awesome fucking death grind. Yeah. And, well, I'm going to leave it to John here to fill in whatever blanks because there's definitely some blanks. Yeah. Uh, like Nick said, they wish to remain anonymous. Uh, it is consisting of Chthonian Incursor, who does unknown things, uh, Omnis Void, who does unknown things, and The Temple, who also does unknown things. It's weird. I have never seen a band that all plays the instrument, the unknown. Unknown, yeah. There's not even like a lead unknown or rhythm unknown. They all play the unknown. I, well, you know, it it's sounds unknown. like guitars and bass and drums and uh, demons. Evil. Evil the, demons. This uh, is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is some really dark, nasty, uh, atmospheric and... We just talked about how we listened to something rather pleasant and right. uplifting earlier. And, this uh, is not it. No, that mood is long gone Yep. after this EP. This is filthy, dissonant, murky, distinctly evil-sounding death metal that thrives in atmosphere and being dissonant. I would even say atonal. Honestly, the first thing I wrote after listening to half of the first track, which is called... Thrones Before Slobbering Gods. What a fucking title. <laughs> that's that's all right. <laughs> all right. It's it's nice to know that uh, their gods have some serious flaws and probably needs like one of those lobster fucking bibs just to catch all the drool. But the first thing that I wrote was this sounds like Morbid Angel and Incantation got together with Portal, did a fuck ton of PCP and had a jam session. And yeah. Yeah, that's it's, that's it's that's that. close. Yeah, that's real close. Just murky, filthy yick. Okay, the like the first couple of songs, it it really is difficult to make out what's happening because the bass tone just kind of overpowers everything. I mean, I guess that's a, a, a good definition of portal. For I mean, sure. it, it's very cavernous. Uh, yeah, very murky. The bass tone was definitely something that it, it, it's really just overpowering. Like, you know, the rest of the band went for like portal and incantation and you know stuff like that. Uh, maybe devoid of thought. Like, there's yeah. a lot of stuff on the Ryan's of that band. But whoever's playing bass or you know the bass unknown, uh, they like Mortician. Like, they wanted Will Romer's fucking just ridiculous bass tone, and it's just so muddy and coupled with the fact that this album's production they reverbed everything they possibly could yes so you get this wall of sound and it sounds like multiple track guitars on here it is absolutely like suffocating like yep, yep. it just surrounds you yep it's intense they're not pulling any punches here with that wall of sound it's just right in your face and you're just like whoa first two tracks especially like very fast there's you know tons of blast beats and like a constant sort of buzzing droning tremolo yep, riff yep like you get a couple of moments where it gets a little bit more chuggy here and there but for the most part they're doing these slides and bends and it sounds like just scraping metal sometimes yeah, like yeah. it's very 
unsettling. Like, this is one of the most unwelcoming <laughs> listens I've had. Like, this whole album was telling me, don't listen to me, you weak fuck. <laughs> Pretty much. And uh, I mean, it might have been partially right, at least in those first two tracks, because Grand Atrocities through Foul Miscreations, oh my god, I love these song titles. I do too. Well done. Also, uh, just, you know, like varying speeds, but the speeds stay fast. Like, you get stomping rhythms that are just like beating the shit out of whatever they're hitting and then like these rabid blast beats crazy fills and it's it's just nuts vocally to me it sounded like a bunch of people growling at each other in a subway tunnel yeah uh, uh like a demonic domestic dispute yeah. <laughs> yeah i don't know who won they all sounded evil as fuck yep everybody went to prison on this one there's no prison that could hold these vocals no like the whole thing the whole thing feels unbelievably evil like uh, recorded either in a series of catacombs underneath a cemetery or on the event horizon of a black hole while some tentacle creature is trying to crawl its way out definitely an elder god i'm sure like the whole vibe of it is like unsettling yes. like it crawls yes. under your skin and while this is all very comparable to portal honestly i find this way more listenable yeah, because I, I, I still am, am out to lunch on Portal. There are many things about Portal that I like, but there are things about Portal that I don't understand either. And I, I don't think I ever will. I, I don't think I'm meant to understand, but I think this record is better as a whole, at least like the first three songs, Yeah. because it's just a wall of unsettling sound. But again, you can make out a riff here and there. But when it came down to songs like Swath in Aberrant Flesh and, well, this was kind of a typo on Archives, uh, the song is actually Wrathful Portals, but they have it down as Malefic Pathways. I think those are totally separate avenues of thought there. Yes. Yeah. They both clearly lead to something different and awful. <laughs> but those songs, those are the first ones on here that I really had, like, some standout dynamics. Yep. Like some riffs that really stood out. There's yep. some really good... Morbid Angel nods yes. on Raffle Portals or Malefic Pathways or, ooh, it could be Malefic Portals or Raffle ooh. Pathways. Again, could be. totally separate streets. <laughs> There's some more breakdowns on there. There's a little bit more groove to them. They slow down. The riffs yep. become like slower and a little bit more droney. Like, you kind of have a chance to kind of catch your breath from the first two tracks. Like, okay, I'm still in hell. Yep. But, but I'm kind of getting used to it. I'm kind of getting used to it, and and now you know the the devil is playing at least some more discernible notes um, because there's definitely more groove that kicks in in swath into aberrant flesh, and there's a lot of it in uh, wrathful portals and the last song, poisoned bodies of swine imbuing. There's still murk, but it's not as like dissonant as. The other songs, like uh, definitely in Wrathful Portals, you get some almost like brutal, almost like slam breakdowns at times. Mortician. And, yep. And then in Poisoned Bodies of Swine, you get these really nasty, bendy, like meow riffs that stand out. That was kind of what I wanted to hear more of on here, just because that breaks up the wall of distance. Because when all of it is going, and that's like the end of the last song, Poison Bodies of Swine and Mewing, that's just fun to say. Yeah, the end of that song is literally everything going pretty much at 10 at all times with reverb maxed out like they wanted the most caustic end of this. There's even like synths and atmospheric groans in the background. Like this whole album is just, it's its uh, marginally scary. Like it's not as scary as Portal. No. Thank fuck it's no, not as scary nothing, as Portal. Nothing, I don't know if anything, I don't, still to this day, I don't know if I've ever heard anything as disturbing as Hagbalbia. No. But, uh... uh, -uh. <laughs> I can't believe you even said that fucking thing out loud. Hag ah! Hagbalbia. Say it oh, one more time, it, it shows up. Hagbalbia. Oh, now they're gonna murder you in your sleep. Oh, there it is. I didn't say it. I see it. You did. Yeah. But honestly, it was on these last three tracks where, again, being able to hear more of the distinct riffs and the fact that it wasn't just going at all times like just tremolo picking and just creating this wall of sound with the giant production on here that was kind of what i wanted on here like this needed a little bit more clarity like the production here granted what they're going for is 
you know, you got it. If you wanted to yeah. fucking just create this wall of evil yeah. that uh, falls over on you and crushes you, you, you got it. It's just insane sounding. But when I'm able to hear those cool riffs, I kind of wish like maybe the bass came down a little bit, little bit of compression, like not much. I still want this thing to be nice and reverb and evil, but just enough to, you know, keep the instruments from bleeding together because that's one of my main issues on here is the guitars and the bass bleed together. Now, I suppose this band probably drinks blood because that would totally make sense with the whole aesthetic of this album. Yep. But I kind of need a little bit of separation there because the guitar tone, when I can hear it isolated, it sounds really yes. fucking gnarly. Yes, yes it does. I will say on Poison Bodies of Swine and Bewing, the bass, at least when you get to like the midpoint of that song, when they start getting into these bendy riffs, the bass goes a little bit less murk and a little bit more snarl. Yeah. Like, and you can start to hear the formation of an actual song versus a wall of sound. So like, it's in there, but there might have been a smidge less murk and a bit more snarl to combat what you have going on in the beginning of this album. Yeah, there's really not a lot of empty space. Like when there is uh, a little bit of empty space, like it's usually filled with, again, like, ambient noise there's some horisons peppered in there yeah. and they're kind of low in the mix yeah. but the fact that there's always something going on you know uh, sometimes there's not enough room for certain parts to breathe now i have to say when the synths are in there and they're kind of in a more like isolated spot where like you're not doing like a heavy tremolo all the time because again the reverb really i mean it carries out but I like how they complement the guitars mm -hmm. like it makes it just that much more evil which believe me it's already like, my arm doesn't reach up that high. <laughs> right. It's already that evil. But that adds just a little bit more and sort of like a creepy, sinister, occult vibe to it. But my main thing is how it starts off, man, it's, it's so abrupt. Like, there's no real lead-in. Like, you get a little bit of feedback, and then you are off to the thrones of the slobbering gods. <laughs> yeah, and we all know how messy that gets. But yeah, like, how it starts off, it's... It's so much to absorb and, you know, having something to settle into a little bit later was nice, but I kind of wanted that maybe a little bit early in the album. But overall, this was, uh, <laughs> well, a hellish nightmare, but like in a good way, like in, in terms of like creating a just caustic, evil sounding listen, but still have like riffs and discernible, like, you know, transitions and movements where it's not just a blur of demonic hornets attacking your eardrums. That's where we're at. <laughs> they did a really good job. So overall, I'm going to give this three stars. I think this is a really solid EP. Uh, it's flat out terrifying when it needs to be, and I think it feels the need to be, like, almost all the time. But I like the fact that they still have riffs on here. Like, yep. there's still some really good, just... I can sink my teeth into riffs on here, like Morbid Angel, Incantation, a little bit of Immolation in there. Yep. All fucking good things and all bands that have a really nice evil sound to them. If you're a fan of any of those bands and like Portal and uh, just dissonant, ugly, twisted, dark death metal, I strongly recommend checking this out. It's uh, a fucking hell of a fucking listen and uh, a little bit terrifying at times. So way to go, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a, a three as well. Goodness, when I, I think back about all the bands we've reviewed that just kind of cut to the core of my soul as far as like, man, that's gross, I need to take a shower. You brought your soul, weak. Yeah, I, I did, but then they took it and huh. then stomped all over it and gave it to the slobbering gods. I'm, I'm in the I'm in the, the crab bib somehow. Oh, okay. I've come to enjoy music like this because I don't get it. <laughs> I do. But I don't get it. Like, wow. Wow, you created a nightmare. All the horrifying things that appear in my dreams, somehow you captured that. I used to listen to music before I went to bed, and now I'm so glad I don't do that because, <laughs> like, I don't think death metal was this evil when I was a teenager. It wasn't. There's no way. It was it, working at it, it. It was getting there. Like, Morbid Angel had kind of a... a, a, a that, that Covenant uh, do the fucking video for God of Emptiness. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. But uh, I think this is kind of fun, in a sense. But uh, much like Nick, I also do wish that there was a little bit more to sink your teeth into. And not that I don't don't enjoy two tracks of a wall of sound that's just pure madness. I too like to sink my teeth into 
nasty guitar riffs and sick grooves and, and be able to hear more discernible parts to the music. I'm not stating that all music has to be that way. Obviously, you know, there are bands out there that, that really shoot for this caustic, nasty, gnarly sound, and that's all of what they are. And I enjoy that too, but hearing in the last half of this record where they do incorporate riffs like that, I imagine that there's also stuff going on like that in the first couple songs, I just can't hear it. So yeah, it's a three for me, but this is still a pretty good release. I definitely will be showering before I go to bed because wow. I'm covered in slime and ugh. Nah, this is the last time you see Jam and John. He said Hag Balbia out loud three, <laughs> three times. times. <laughs> That's yeah, it. Yeah, well, whatever. We, we've all seen enough horror movies to know where this is going. Straight into a wood chipper. <laughs> Maybe I won't take the country roads home tonight. It won't matter. They'll find you. Probably true. So, if you enjoyed John's last review, give this a thumbs up, a like, and all that stuff. He will be missed after the demons rip him from limb to limb. It's going to be amazing. We won't film it, though, because YouTube and you YouTube, know, censorship. YouTube, censor, FCC. All that shit. Yeah. And uh, for those who don't know, we are on Patreon as well. If you would like to help us out there, there's a link down below to thrallsmetal.com where our Patreon is linked. And uh, while you're at the Thrall shop, why don't you just look around a little bit? we got shirts, and we're going to have some new merch here soon. Yep. Uh, still toying with ideas, fine-tuning stuff, and figuring out what else can we can... Speaking slap our brand on. I mentioned grenades earlier, and I, I think I'm serious about that now. I, I think it'd be fun. Thrall's grenade. For the kids. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Safety third. And of course, thank you all so much for thank liking, you. subscribing, all that stuff. Thank it's you. been thank amazing. You. We crossed 12,000 subscribers, Did which, you, yeah. I can't believe it. Yeah. Are you kidding me? 12,000 people watch this? That's, that's it doesn't make more any sense them. to me. It does say more about them. You guys obviously have poor taste, but thank you for having it with thank us. Thank you. But no, seriously, 12,000 subscribers. Thank you, you guys. This uh, continues to get more and more fun by the day. You know, it's definitely something that has pretty much engulfed our lives, and we are thankful and honored to keep doing this. And much like John will be engulfed by a sea of demons once he gets <laughs> home. And again, ripped apart, possibly disemboweled. It's going to be horrific. Pretty sure I'm sleeping with the lights on. It won't matter. <laughs> but I, None of it matters. It's okay. No, you're done for. We'll stop. miss him, though. I'm going to stop at the gas station and get a thing of ice cream. I want the last thing I... <laughs> I eat to be the haagen peanut butter chocolate ice cream. Oh, see, I figured you were trying to do, like, I'm going to make sure I'm lactose intolerant. I'm going to fart all over him. Dude, I've been farting on Nick all day. It's, it's, this is the best day of my life. I'm so glad those demons are going to get you tonight. <laughs> oh, brings me joy now. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching once again, and we will catch you later.